you guys, it's Amy Gretchen. Welcome back to another Project Life process video. In this video, I'm working on week seven from 2018. So what you're seeing laid out on my table, I've got my photos that I'm gonna be using for this week. And then I've got all these products from Allie Edwards Story Kit, her fabric theme. So these are the uh, word phrases, some cards, got the chipboards. Really loved how there was so many different options of circles. I was, the first thing I thought of when I saw these um, paper ones actually was sticking them onto the photos, but I did see Allie do that as well. So I thought instead of doing something similar, I would maybe um, give you you know, a different option, something different you could do. I thought these were a lot of fun as well. Um, I was kind of thinking that it might be great on the bottom or the top of a three by four card. Maybe I could add one of these chipboards or even one of these on top or even one of these letter stickers. So these letter stickers, um, this is actually an add on. So is this love and then these wood veneer words are an add on as well. So these didn't actually come in the kit, but you can purchase those separately. So I just went ahead and grabbed those. I always love having some letter stickers in my stash and I like this beige color. I think I am going to try and use these this time, but we will just see how um, this layout rolls out. This is not something that I've planned out ahead of time, but these are the products that I do plan to use. So let's just go ahead and get started and we'll see how this turns out. All right, you guys. So the first thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is deal with my photos. But before that, I just want to apologize if you're hearing any weird like construction sounds. I'm having some stairs installed uh, outside, so it's making a lot of noise. So I do apologize for that, but I didn't want to have to wait for them to leave. Uh, I really wanted to get this finished today. So I, I apologize. But anyway, the first thing that I do is always start with my photos. And I seem to be very methodical about it, where I go from my photos to then my journaling and the stories and then I will embellish however I want. Sometimes I mix those things up where I'm playing with embellishments before I actually get to my journaling, but those are the the ways that I, I tend to think of it. And I really like to get the photos in place first thing because that's also something that you can do ahead of time. So let's say you don't have an hour or 45 minutes to put together a Project Life spread. You could just go ahead and print out your photos and put them in the sleeves. And then when you do have time, you could work on that journaling or you could do several of them at once. And then maybe you could get together with friends and do like a crop. And then you could just work on the journaling there. So that's an option. I really like, um, you know, especially if you're quote unquote behind, you have the option to just already have, you know, it partially done. And then you could just work on the other half. Just an idea. All right, so you saw that I was looking through a bunch of the three by four cards, and now I'm looking at some of the other cards. So I have um, the title card that I wanted, and then also I have another spot that's always fun when you can add a four by six card. In there included a list of things. I can't now remember exactly what it said. I think it said something like, I want to remember and uh, then I'm just gonna add 10 little stories from the week. And I actually really tried in this card to pull from the photo. So instead of adding um, like a card or any journaling right onto the photo, I thought that I would just add it onto the card instead of um, right onto the photo. And so that's one of the reasons why I liked having that list there. And I'm also gonna make some of some three by four cards. So I've taken that burlap circle. I think it's about three inches because it fits really nicely on that three by four card. And I used some adhesive. This was some liquid adhesive. I tried using the um, rolling adhesive and it just didn't stick very much. And so I thought that the liquid adhesive would probably be better. I bet red line tape would work really great as well if you had that. Um, and then you could, you saw that I was just going to add maybe a piece of chipboard on it. So because I have decided that I'm probably not going to add a lot to my photos this week, it's going to be a little bit more simple. Maybe if you would say, I think a lot of my, um, project life spreads are pretty, uh, more on the simple side, but I decided to kind of leave my photos 
just as the photos not embellish a lot this month or this week, which is totally fine because some weeks you can be really busy and you could add a lot of stuff and some weeks can be less than that. So I like being able to uh, make that change and determine what you want to do from week to week. You do not have to do the same thing over again. That's what I love so much about Project Life and doing it on a week to week basis. Anyway, my whole point in saying all that is I'm just getting my photos put in the pockets just so they're out of the way and there's less stuff moving around. All right, so now I'm moving on to my title card and I've got the Mega Date Stamp from Studio Calico, which is one of my favorite tools. It continues to be a favorite. I just really love that date stamp. I just feel like it just pops right off the page and I love it. It's just one of my favorite uh, tools or stamps or however you want to look at it. So I went ahead and I stamped that onto the title card and then I just added one of the circle embellishments um, right there in the top. And I definitely wanted it to cross over the pattern paper. And so that's why I kind of put it um, in between those things. So now I'm gonna be making another three by four card with the other half of, um, the other half of the burlap circle, which is what I think is really great about these embellishments is you can really stretch them to be able to use them for multiple weeks. So you'll see that I'll have enough product left over that I will be able to use this for another another week coming up, um, maybe next week, I don't know, I haven't worked on week eight yet. And you can see that I just added another one of those chip chipboards right on to that half circle. And I will end up, once I adhere it, I will end up cutting that off. I definitely want it to interact with the um, card just like the burlap does as well. All right, so I wanted to also use the letter stickers. I haven't used letter stickers in a while and I really, um, really like the letter sticker. So I was trying to figure out how I wanted to incorporate it. And as I was looking at this card, um, the one this this list card, I noticed that on the side, and it might be hard to see, but it has some squares. So it had like a smaller square or rectangle, and then it had a larger rectangle on the bottom. And I was trying to think about what could I do with this space. And as I was thinking, I decided to write out my journaling. And like I had mentioned, it's just 10 stories from the week. Most of them do correlate with the photos, but not all of them. There are probably like three of them that don't have photos associated with them. So some of the photos that are actually in this spread I don't mention. And I don't think you always have to tell a story about the photo that you put in there. Sometimes it's enough just to have the photo. So I never really worry too much about it. So now I'm uh, moving on and doing an, some more journaling. Again, I just haven't figured out exactly what I want to do with that list, but I wanna add something there, mostly because it feels like it should, just because it's got these like empty boxes. So that's the reason why I'm, you know, having this desire that I really want to add that there. And then I pulled over this meaningful card and I was trying to figure out exactly how I wanted to tell that story. And I don't know if you guys are like me, but. When I'm not sure exactly how I want to say something, I need to think about it for a minute, I end up moving on and doing something else and then coming back to it. So that's what I was doing there by adding that love this chipboard to the title card. And then I came back and wrote, wrote up my journaling there. That journaling card was all about um, the time we have after school. So my kids, you know, now that they're older, we're super busy in the evenings and I'm feeling like eating dinner together happens only a couple times a week. And that used to be my favorite time of the day is all of us having dinner together. So that's what that card is about. It's about how we aren't eating his dinner, eating dinner as much anymore. But after school, we all gather around in the kitchen. We have a snack. People are doing homework. We're chatting and we're hanging out and being together. And that's now become one of our favorite times or one of my favorite times of the day. So I wanted to make sure that um, I wrote about that there. So now you can see that I'm trying to deal with these, these um, rectangles or these empty boxes on this list card. And I pulled over some embellishments that I had and I just felt like they were a little too big. And so what I ended up doing is I found a stamp and this came from Allie Edwards for the love story stamp. So I just grabbed over this little heart and it actually had some type on the bottom of it, but I just cut out the heart. Now, never be afraid to 
cut up your stamps because you can just put them back together as intended and they will stamp perfectly. So as long as you're not cutting through the actual design, you should absolutely be fine to cut up those stamps so you can use them how you want because that's how we want to be able to use our products to fit our needs, right? So I stamped out the heart in pink and that was actually Allie Edwards Astoria ink on the first one. And I liked the way it looked, but I thought, you know, it might be fun to kind of vary the color a little bit. So I looked at the color palette, especially on the title card at some of the other colors in the kit. And I grabbed over um, some of the other Allie Edwards inks that I thought would go really well. So I grabbed St. Helens, Olympia, and then this will lamb it. So these are the green colors that I pulled over. And I guess the St. Helens is kind of more of a greenish beige, but I, I liked all these colors together. And I thought that, you know, if I would vary them, it could look cool, right? I didn't really love it when I was done. After I finished, I was like, huh, you know, it kind of just looks really flat. I wished I had maybe just done one color. So I kind of regretted it a little bit. Now I could have reprinted it. I do have the digital version because I get both the kit and the stamps. So I get the digital version for free. So I was like, you know, I could reprint it. And then I was like, you know, it's not a big deal. I'm just going to leave it. Like it really isn't that big of a deal. It's not like it was hideous. It just wasn't my favorite, right? So I decided to leave it for now and you'll see how I add to it in just a minute. It's still not my favorite, but um, it ends up being a little bit better. All right, so I'm moving on and you saw that I'm cutting, I just cut off the edge of that chipboard and added it to the burlap just because I wanted something to then interact with the card like I had mentioned. So here is where I'm making that change and I do apologize for the big jump in my video, but my camera died and I, or I lost, um, I didn't lose, but I ran out of space on my card reader, so I didn't realize that. And anyway, that's why there's that jump. But I decided that I wanted to add then the, I had those stickers right in front of me and I was like, why didn't I add those number stickers? It's like the most obvious thing to do. And I really liked the stickers and I was really sad that I had stamped it because I thought, you know, I will just add this with the stamp. It'll look like a little collage. I didn't feel like it looked like that. I felt like it looked kind of weird and yeah, definitely not my favorite card, but from far away, I really like that the numbers are there. So I'm not redoing it. I'm going to leave it. But like I said, not my favorite, but I really like that the numbers there, especially because I decided to make my own three by four card with the letter stickers as well. So it was just one more um, option to have those letter stickers then in the weekly spread. So I just went ahead and spelled out yes to this, which is really awesome. We have a new uh, letter sticker set. That you can actually spell anything that you want, right? So then I just went ahead and wrote my journaling there. That was all about the day that my daughter and I had um, skiing. It was a lot of fun. So we had a four day weekend coming uh, or at the end of this week. And so it was fun to be able to go up there on a Friday and just hang out together. All right, then my last bit of journaling. And I think I have one more thing after this. I decided that I wanted those letter stickers in one more place. And this photo of us up skiing had like, you know, this beautiful blue sky. And I thought that it would be a great backdrop for them to add some letter stickers. So I'm just going to go ahead and spell out the word love. And one thing that I did want to mention actually with these letter stickers that if you put them on um, lightly and not like press them in that you can actually move them around. Now you do need to be careful but you can actually move them around a bit, which is nice that you can make sure to get everything nice and even. I actually did, because of my tweezers, when I was putting on the E, it kind of pulled out some of the adhesive for some reason. And so it got onto my photo and it kind of bothered me. So I'm looking at a way to cover that up. And I grabbed over the word phrases and I didn't love that because they were very similar in color. So then I pulled over the chipboard and there was one that said... Um, never enough or something like that, or I can't remember, but it went along with the love and the skiing. And I thought that the chipboard was just a little too thick. Like I was trying to fit it in either above or under, and it just felt 
a little too thick. So I decided to cut it out and then just add it right on to the top there. And that way it kind of covered up that mistake, but then of course it added a little bit of dimension, which is really cool when stuff like that happens, you know, when there's like a accident and then you can actually make it work for you and then you end up liking what, you know, what you added even better. So I love it, I love it when that happens, those little happy accidents. All right, so I had to cut that card down. You see that I moved them over, I think I wanted to, separate um, all the the light colors together. Sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. It just kind of depends on my mood. Anyway, you guys, I am completely done with this spread, so hopefully you were able to get something from this uh, layout. I really hope that you um, are enjoying the story kit. I've really enjoyed thinking about the threads in our lives and the way that they are woven together. I've told a couple other stories, so hopefully you'll be able to see those videos coming up soon. All right, you guys, we will catch you in the next one. Thank you so much for being here. Bye.